Aloha, I'm Dr. Catherine Takeda Wong. I'm a naturopathic physician and a licensed acupuncturist practicing in Honolulu, Hawaii. My specialty is with treating autism spectrum disorders through what's known as biomedical or medical treatment of autism. And I'm a MAPS physician or a Medical Academy of Pediatric Special Needs physician. One of the things that I wanna share with you is one of the most exciting things that I consider to be in the treatment of autism. This is a condition that was discovered in 2005, and it's a breakthrough in the treatment of autism. So I'll explain this condition as we go to this graphic. So folic acid is extremely important for the development of a baby's brain. Now this square over here represents a brain cell, and folic acid basically needs to go through this gate over here. It's a receptor in order for folic acid to get into the brain cell. So what we see is that normally folic acid, someone ingests folic acid, it, it goes through this receptor, gets into the brain, and then you have normal brain development. In about 75% of children with autism, they're actually making these antibodies represented by these yellow things here. So these are proteins that your immune system is making that are actually attacking this part, this gate, so to speak. And what is happening is that these antibodies are actually blocking the gate over here. And so even if someone is taking folic acid, basically it's not getting into the brain cell and then you don't have normal brain development. So the exciting thing about this condition is that it actually is treatable. So there's something called folinic acid that you can use. Folinic acid is actually the active form of folic acid. And folinic acid, if you get it in high enough concentrations in the blood, if you take high doses of it orally, basically, then that can actually get into the brain cell. So again, going to the graphic, with a folinic acid, if you get high enough levels, it can bypass that and go into the brain cell. And then from there, you start to have normal brain development. So the really exciting thing about this is that it actually is a treatable cause of autism. So if this condition is diagnosed and treated early enough, for example, before the age of four, we found that it can sometimes be possible to reverse the autism diagnosis. And that's something that's extremely exciting. So to learn more about this condition, we have a link to some research studies in the copy of this post. And I'd also encourage you to call my office to schedule a free 15-minute phone consult to learn more about how we can help your child with autism to be able to improve. Aloha.